part two here. Uh, so let's take the head uh, detail first. Okay, and there we are. So we're zooming in here. Now, one of the things we want to do is to get our coursing correct. Okay, so that's uh, that's important. So I'm going to go back into section six here. And you will remember how we drew in our um, repeating details here. Uh, so I'm into annotate, component, uh, repeating detail. And there is, that's the block one. So what I'm looking for is the brickwork section on the outside here. Okay. Now, if I drag this right the way through here, uh, that will give us an idea of how our coursing is working out. And um, I'm going to do the block work here now as, as well. And um, let's go into brickwork uh, lightweight. I think that's the one that we used. And there, yeah. Okay, let's drag that one through there. Now, um, obviously, we don't want these covering over the window, but what I'm interested in showing you here is. Uh, brickwork and blockwork coursing and how they arrive at the window uh, sill here. So that's important to remember. Uh, your coursing is not just uh, horizontal, it is vertical as well. And that's important uh, to remember that too. So uh, I can see that my head up here is probably um, a little bit high. Um, and if I click on the window here, it'll tell me, look, that my head height is that. So I would suggest that that's correct. So I'm just going to check the uh, coursing here. Yeah, we could probably take this and actually shift it up uh, 10 mil. Okay, so that's sitting on a mortar joint. And I'm going to do the same with this one here. So there is coming in level on the mortar joint there. Now that's looking pretty good across here. What will happen here is that uh, the block layer will cut a half block or you'll take a brick or something like that in order just to make up the distance between the two. But I'm interested in the head here. All right, so um, there might be something done here in terms of um, whatever way you're going to support the structure. That's working well on the brickwork here. Not overly concerned here because again, we can put in a half brick or a half block or something like that in order to kick off the course incorrectly as well. And remember this side is going to be hidden in behind the plasterboard and the service cavity, whereas this side is not. This is the one that's going to be exposed. So that's the one I'm interested in right there. Okay, so uh, once we've got our coursing kind of uh, worked out like that, um, what I'm going to do is grab this one and drag it down to the underside here. And I'm going to grab this one and drag it down uh, one more to the underside there. Okay, so that's the coursing on uh, the sill end. And um, I'm going to take this, okay, and I'm going to add to the selection, and I'm going to copy uh, both of those, okay, and I'll copy them from uh, that point there, and I'll shift them up to that point there, okay, and I need to take that one, and again, there was that slight adjustment uh, that we were going to do. Um, so, uh, yeah, what I need to do is even up these two here. So I'm going to go into uh, annotate, detail line, just draw a line across there. And I'm going to do that one and raise it up. Okay, so that we have our coursing set up correctly. And that will be the kind of adjusting piece of block work, if you like, that's, uh, that's in here. I'll go a little bit more on that one. All right. Now, once we've got uh, those kind of set out on our section, uh, you can see it's not here on my detail yet, but if you remember what we did, so we selected that, <coughs> and we selected that, and we put them on the copy clipboard, went into the head detail, and then we set paste to the same place. Okay, part three coming up.